Alrighty, so we are going to go down to Basil's house. I do want to check some candy. I like to eat some candy. Okay. You and your friends feel like new. Oh, yeah, because I got them all turned to toast, so... I wasn't I wasn't expecting there to be like action sequences in here. Psst. Hey. Psst. You. Yeah, you over there. Um Mori, I think that mailbox is talking to us. Maybe we should go check it out. Or maybe not. <laughs> Goodbye. I regret that. I'm going back. <laughs> I didn't think it would actually let me go. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Hello, valued customer. Welcome to my shop. Please buy something. <laughs> Andy, apple juice. Oh, it heals you. Heals your juice. Heals small damage to all foes and reduces their speed. I'll, I'll, I'll buy some apple juice. That's it. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know what I was expecting from this game, but action sequences uh not 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 what i was expecting at all okay basil's house is down i want to explore more but i'm sure we'll be able to eventually right Assuming. sunflowers oh these are sunflowers there's they're called that because they always face towards the sun that's how i want to be like oh sweet baby someone who always sees the bright side of things what a sweet little angel baby. These ones are wilted. Oh, these flower Oh, they're they're not wilted. They're the lily of the valley. I thought they were wilted tulips. Oh, these flowers are called lily of the valley. It's said that they're able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. I guess that's why they remind me of Mari. I can always count on her to help me stay positive. Aww. What, what is that? Whoa! It's that ugly plant creature! Don't you know, Kel? It's a sprout mole! Sprout moles are highly intelligent creatures, but because... But they become dangerously vicious when they're lost. Oh, please, please! Mr. Sproutmole, stop that! You're stomping all over the flowers! Oh boy, here we go again. Ah, it looks like this Sproutmole's angry. Like us, Sproutmoles also feel emotions. Since this Sproutmole is angry, its attack is higher. But on the other hand, it lowers its defense. So what you're saying is now is the perfect time to strike. Come on, Amori. Let's do this. Okay. Uh, Amori's gonna attack. What is her skin? That tall makes happy. Oh, wait. Every cheers on this proud mole. <laughs> Mori's party was victorious. Gained 18 XP and 4 clan. Mori grew to level 2. Cute. Most of the flowers are unharmed. That's a relief. 
Hey, Mori. Now that we're getting the hang of battling, here's a journal where we can keep track of any neat foes we come across. Hero gave you the foe facts journal. Here, now it's in your pocket. The journal is yours to record with, but we might pitch in sometimes too. Check it out through your pocket in the player menu by pressing X. Max toys important. Oh, facts. Route wall. A dangerous and hostile, ugly plant creature. It says it is smart, but do not believe it. It is not. It smells like dirty laundry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Not ugly. He's cute. Such thing is ugly around here. Wrong button. Wrong button! Ah, these types of flowers are called gladiolus. Gladio what? Gladiolus, also known as the sword flower. As you might guess, they represent strength of character. Someone who is honest with strong moral value values. Someone who stands by their convictions. The, gladi the gladiolus reminds me of Aubrey because she's always true to herself. Oh, I see. So what you're saying is Aubrey is really stubborn. <laughs> hey! No, I'm not! <laughs> okay, let's move on. Oh, so he planted... little plants for each of his friends. That's so cute. These are roses. Can you guess who they remind me of? They remind me of Hero. Did you guess correctly? Roses come in many different colors and have their own unique meanings. Pink roses symbolize admiration, and orange roses symbolize passion. Yellow roses symbolize friendship, and the list goes on. Hero doesn't remind me of any rose in particular. I think Hero is like all roses, because he's versatile and universally loved. Aw, that's sweet. Where's the one for Amori? Oh no, not again. Mr. Sprout Mole, stop twirling! You're destroying all of the flowers! I didn't think we would have to battle. Oh, I see. This brown mole is happy. In that case, it has a higher chance to hit our weak spots and do more damage. But this also means it has a higher chance of missing. Alright. He's gonna attack. I want him to do the annoy. Because I feel like... Annoy? When they get angry so that the attacks are better. <laughs> Miss. It hit right in the heart. Oh. Hmm. It's a 50. Crump Mole is rolling around. <laughs> it's just hanging out, just rolling. Mori's party was victorious. He gained 22 XP and 3 clam. Hmm. You seem to be running across a lot of foes with emotion. In case you didn't know, emotions can determine how strong or weak an attack is. Happy beats angry. Angry beats sad. Sad beats happy. Here, I even drew up a guide on how they work. I'm no artist, but I think you'll get the point. I'll put it in your pocket so you can check it out later. Got an emotion chart. You want to look at the emotion chart now? Yes. Okay. Happy is strong against angry and weak. Strong against angry. Angry is weak against happy. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Cactus? Is this a Mori? Oh, what are these flowers call? Well, they're all cool and spiky. Actually, Cal, this is a cactus. It's more of a plant than a flower. And it's funny that you ask because they remind me of you. Is it because he's a prick? <laughs> oh my god! Aubrey! Aubrey! Hey! Well, that too, but... 
Mostly because cacti are very sturdy and resilient plants by nature. They don't need to much care and can even survive in seemingly impossible conditions. I guess what I'm saying is that even you could take care of a cactus, Kel. Whoa, neat! Cacti are awesome! Oops, wrong button. Cactus. Dirty and resilient. Cactus. I keep clicking the wrong button. Ah. These are white tulips. Plain, simple, and bulbous. Just like a mori. I don't know. I, I just think it's cute. Aww. Oh, there's another one of these things. Not another sprout mole. It's all good, Basil. We got the hang of this by now. This sprout mole seems a bit sad. You know, it's curled up in the fetal position, so why would you attack it? Just leave it alone. That means it won't do as much damage as normal, but it'll take less damage to heart and will juice instead. Sad. Let's put it out of its misery. Okay. I'm gonna attack, see what happens. Sprout mole lost. Sprout mole is rolling around. Oh. I have him annoyed again. Um, it seems to me I like when it's angry because it makes it easier to kill it. Sprout mole is now angry. Two XP and three clams. Aubrey grew to, grew to level two. Kel grew to level two, and Hero grew to level two. And learned massage. Okay. Song. Let's go. Go to Basil's house. Oh. Well, hey everyone. You all came just in time for a lovely picnic. Feel free to rest here. Everything is already set up, and I even brought some fruit. Okay. Rice picnic basket. Would you like to save? Yes. I'll take a no. I'll take a minute to save. Have some fruit. Delicious fruits. Would you like to eat some? Yes. You and your friends feel like new. <laughs> Woohoo! Thanks, Marie. Mari, you're the best. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just trying to look out for all of you. Oh, Mari, I wish I could be more like you. You always seem to have everything under control. Well, oh, that's not true at all. It just seems that way from the outside. <laughs> Either way. You sure seem to have make everything look easy. Oh yes, I agree. Mari is so effortlessly graceful. Don't you think so, Mori? Yes. Aww. I guess I have to believe it a little bit if all of you think so. My house is right down this way. Are we all ready to go? I'm ready when you are. We'll catch up with you later, Mari. Let me know if you need anything. See you soon. Alrighty. Let's go. Go to Basil's house. Like, where are... Like, what kind of world is this? <laughs> what is that? What is What is that? Hello? Hello? What is that? Why is it- It looks like a giant mandrake. I guess. It's it has a mustache. Oh my god. What do Morian friends do? 
Everyone attack! Ye old, ye old sprout. Okay, they're all taking damage. Oh, that's that's not doing a very good job. They get angry. What happened? Man, this fight is pretty tough. Don't worry. We can do this if we work together. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna have to teach you all a little bit about teamwork. Let's try again, Amori. We'll get him this time. Okay. Did I get in trouble for... You notice anything different, Amori? You should see a new bar at the bottom of the screen with a number on the side. This is our collective energy. By using our energy, we can defeat this foe together. Just attack and you'll see. Okay. What's this? Removes a friend or foe's emotion. Heals a friend for 75% of their heart. Okay, that's it. Attack again. Pass to Aubrey, pass to... Kill. Push it. Okay. Interesting. You see the bubbles that popped up when we attacked? That's called a follow-up. After you attack, for a limited time, you can use energy to perform a follow-up move. Just press any directional arrow and see what happens. Okay. I'm gonna try that. I'm trying to click. There's nothing funny me. Ooh, man, this guy is really tough. When he attacked us, did you notice that our energy went up? When we take damage, we also gain energy. Think of it as a chance to make a comeback. I'm doing genuinely not a clue I don't know what I'm doing nice full of energy this is the perfect time to use our special attack Amori after you attack press it down to release energy I hope you're all ready come on everyone let's show the big guy what we're made of okay Mori and friends come together and use their ultimate attack. Oh, they come together. The power of friendship. Fifty clan. Ooh, well, Mori's at level three and learns stab. Aubrey's at level three. Okay, they're all at level three. There you have it. Heroes Battle Tutorial 101. I'm sure that as we fight more battles, our teamwork will improve over time. Wow, you guys. That was so amazing. Ah, uh, that was nothing. <laughs> I've taken down way bigger guys than that. Yeah, sure you have, Cal. Okay, sure. I should teach you some of my skills one of these days. Hazel. I know you're not the type that likes to fight, but it's good to know how to defend yourself, too. You know, I've actually been working on a book about battles. 
Maybe we can all study together next time. I'll give it to Amori to hold on to for now. You got self-help guide. Good, I'm gonna definitely need that. To get stronger, I'll be updating the follow-up selection of the self-help guide, so be sure to check it out every now and then. Amori, you should know, when we gain XP and level up, something... Sometimes we also learn skills. Skills are powerful and have a wide range of effects, but each of us can only remember up to four skills at a time. After you learn a new skill, don't forget to equip it from the player menu, okay? Yeah, yeah, we know. Can you go to Basil's house now? Okay, that's all I had to say. Patience, Kel. Can I... Bad poem. Always deals a critical hit. Ignores defense when Amori is sad. Crystal. Right? I think this this is his house, I'm assuming. He lives in a shoe. He lives in a shoe. My boy lives in a shoe. Say cheese. Oh, I love when he takes pictures of them. It's so cute. I want to see the picture. You see it? Oh, it came out kind of blurry. Well, that's okay. That gives a character. I want to see it. Let me see it. Hope you don't mind the photo. Let me see it. Of course we don't mind. I want to see it. Oh, sure thing. Oh, y'all look so cute. How's my hair? I want to see. I want to see. Me, me too. Oh, hey, Amori. Did you want to look at the photo t too? Oh, I like it. It's too bad it came out kind of blurry, but you all still look so cute. I should add it to my collection. Yes, please keep taking pictures of them. This is adorable. I want to see all these pictures of them. Woohoo! Another shot for the photo album. Move over, Aubrey. I can't see. Hey, stop pushing. You already had your turn. Get out of my way, Kel! Wait, hold on. There's no need to fight. Me first. No, me! Did someone smack him? Stop it. Why is there knocking me over? Oh, he lost his pictures. Uh, whoops. Oh my gosh. Basil! So sorry. Are you okay, Basil? You two are in big trouble now. This is why the both of you need to learn how to get along. I'm sorry. We didn't mean it, Hero. Please don't tell Mari. It it's okay. Don't worry about it. Accidents happen. Here's your photos. Doesn't look like any of them got damaged. Let's put them back in the photo album together. Oh, thank you, hero. Do we have access to the photo album? Oh, let's go inside my house first. Remember to wipe your feet before you come in. I want to... Do... Have access to the photo album? No. Maybe. Oops, I clicked the wrong button. I meant to do this. Oh, yeah, I forgot. He picked up a knife from the white area. <laughs> Why he has a knife? Who knows, but. Basil's photo album. His most precious belonging. A 
bunch of potted plants and flowers. Basil loves taking care of things. A comfortable looking bed. A bunch of potted plants. Are you ready to put back the photos, Amori? Yes. Yay! Let's get started. Darn. I think I remember the order of all these photos. Don't worry about a thing, Basil. Amori has a really good memory, so I'm sure we'll figure it out in no time. Do I? Because no, I don't. Um, what am I doing? Order that we took these photos, I'm guessing. This one goes there. Might be wrong. I don't remember. How am I supposed to remember this? Is that correct? I don't know. Oh there, good as new. I'm really sorry for pushing you over, Basil. Well, at least half of it was Kel's fault. Yeah, I promise never to fight with Aubrey again. Unless she starts it first. Oh, don't worry about it. I know you only wanted to see my photo album. Thank you for helping me put it back together. Ooh, a picture fell out. Strange. What all must have been loose? Huh? What is this? Did I take this photo? Something about it seems so familiar. No. Basil? Basil, what's the matter? It can't be. What? 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 Basil? Ba 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 basil? <laughs> what? What's happening? Ray. Jeez. What was that? I didn't see it. What just happened? What? Huh? Where am I? I can hear the heartbeat. Booted up your laptop. Back here. Sketchbook. Is there anything new in here? I wonder. If I check. There is something new in here. Oh, that's creepy. There's something new in here. Shoe box for wiping your sorrows. Kitty cat. Meow. Not much to do around here, is there? No. I don't know where I am. A light bulb hangs from the ceiling, wherever it is. Look into the light bulb. Yes. It's pitch black inside. You can't see a thing. What am I doing right now? Hearing, hearing, just hearing the heartbeat is making me a little anxious, not gonna lie. Ah, oh, oh, run, run, run. No, no, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Go away, go away. I'm trying to see if there's anything for me to do. What else am I supposed to do here? What, what else is there to do? can't click on anything. 
What? What is this? Stab? Stab who? <gasps> no. No, 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 nope. I'm not doing that. Yeah, where is there? Are you looking for a way out? There always is one, but... You know? Waiting for something to happen? Yes? Waiting for something to happen? I have to... Do I really... Do I really have to... Am I gonna have to st have Amori st stab himself? Oh man. Oh man. That's the only thing it seems that I could do. Waiting for something? Yeah, I am. Because I'm I'm in denial. I don't want to do it. Here at the screen. What would you like to do? I I I don't want to. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, okay. This is kind of intense. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um. Oh my god. This. Listen. I know when it said that there were there were the warnings every time you load up the game. I knew it was going to be dark, but I didn't expect it to get dark so fast. Wow. I don't know if I can walk. What else was I, what else was there to do? Look at all of us. These are all of our memories together. They're a little sad now. But we should be happy that they happened at all. Let's make some new memories together, okay? Oh, oh, I don't like that sound. See a boy sleeping in his room. What's his name? I can name him? What? Uh, I think I'm just gonna keep Sunny because I'm so confused right now. The boy's name is Sunny? Yes. I'm I'm confused and I'm also a little emotional. I can't think of a name right now.
What? <laughs> What's happening? The lamp. Very, very comfortable bed. You're hungry. Baby, baby, when's the last time you, you left the bed? Hey, Sunny. Mommy. I'm still in the city setting things up for our new home. Did you finish packing yet? Also, um, I just want to take a second. I didn't want to name this character after myself because I think it would be too intense for me. Um, as somebody who also, you know, has depression, anxiety, I don't think I could be able to play the game if the character had my name. So the reason why I, I just chose the name that was already inputted is because it, it makes it feel more like a character, right? Like, I don't want it to feel like it's me because that, that would be too much. Like, <laughs> that would be too much for me. But when it's characters, I can do that because a lot of the ways that I deal with my depression, anxiety, and... difficult past is that I write and mostly I write characters who are also dealing with similar things so it, it provides this disconnect while also allowing me to express the feeling so I'm not saying like it could I'm not triggered if it's a character that it's happening to. But I think if I were to give give him like my name, it would be too much. But anyway, that's what I just wanted to explain. Like that's why I chose to make him Sunny. It's just just the name that filled in because I was too surprised to think of a a, a random name, but just putting that out there. The movers are going to be at our house in a few days, so I left a list of things for you to do before they arrive. Also, sorry, Mommy messed up. I forgot to tell the electric company that we needed a few extra days before we're ready to move, so the lights might cut out sometime tonight. Anyway, I know moving to a new place can be a little nerve-wracking right now, but I think a change of scenery will be positive for both of us. Wait, why is she leaving him a voicemail if they live together? Maybe when she's out, she was out? I know you haven't talked to anyone in a while, but you might want to say goodbye to your old friends before we leave. Kel has been trying really hard to get a hold of you ever since we put our house up for sale. He's been calling us every week for the past few months. He seems a little lonely. Maybe you should pay him a visit. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Z hungry. If he's that hungry, how long has he gone since he's eaten? And he looks a lot bigger now. Is it just me or like he looked like a kid before? And now he's he looks a bit bigger. Cardboard boxes are littered across the house. empty picnic basket. Save. Oh yeah, he did get bigger. Interesting. Bed, the mattress is too hard for you to sleep comfortably. Bookcase has been cleared out. Okay. Or you want to go downstairs? Yes. I'm assuming we need to find the kitchen. Why is he shaking his head? Oh, he doesn't want to go downstairs? Okay. Uh, never mind then. Interesting. It's kind of weird. 
bathroom. Towels and toilet trees. Toilet. Bathtub. Ordinary house plant. Nothing special about it. So <laughs> What am I supposed to do if I can't go downstairs? Saying no. You don't want to look down. Oh yeah, he said he's afraid of heights. So what am I supposed to do? Mom's to-do list. You don't feel like doing your chores right now. Bunch of books. An old computer. You have no new messages. Leave a lamp. Wardrobe. Very comfortable bed. Would you like to go to sleep? Um, yes. I mean, he's hungry, but he won't let me go down the stairs to get him a little snack. It's always important to eat. I just... Even if it's something small, like a celery stick, just something. That's... Not good to not eat. I'm hungry again. I keep waking up because of my stomach, so... What? Why is it red outside? Three red glow radiates from outside. You feel strangely drawn to it. No, no don't go to the light, Sonny. Don't go to the light. That is a, that is the biggest staircase I've ever seen. Why is it so big? I guess in his head, it's it's big. to go you have to go down no you're scared but what is that nope back up I go but I'm no oh no 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 I can't move. Oh, yes, I can. I had to pick up a knife. I have a knife. Why are these stairs so big? <gasps> oh, ew. Oh, ew. I hate that. Ew. Get away from me. Get away from me. Will Sunny do? Oh my god, what kind of monster is this? Something. Something shoves Sunny. Sunny's attack did nothing. Run! You won't let me run? What am I supposed to do? There's nothing I can do. It won't let me do anything. Sunny. Help me. Back something. Taunt Sunny as he falls. Take a deep breath. Don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. You steady yourself and remember how to calm down. Take a deep breath. It really does help a lot. I know it's I know it's difficult to like sit and take a few deep breaths when you're feeling really anxious. You look at how so the stairs are really like that short in actuality, but in his mind they were huge and he was 
I'm thinking that he was having a panic attack. That's what it seemed like to me. He was able to calm down. Got a first aid kit. Family photos. Can I look at them? Oh, oh, he won't go in there. We look in the fridge and find cold steak. Take it? Yes. We gotta heat it up, though. You got a cold steak. You should probably heat it up before you eat it. I don't want to take the knife. Let's just eat some food. You'll feel better. I feel better when I eat something. Got a microwave steak. Can I eat it? up the steak knife. Oh, that's a lovely well done steak. You like to eat some? Yes. I'm scared. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna eat some dinner. Hungry? Eating a whole stomach didn't agree with that. Oh my goodness, this is this is terrifying. Look at this. I need I need a bathroom. Bathroom. I need a bathroom. Find a bathroom. He's gonna be sick. I need to find a bathroom. 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 This is the bathroom. The toilet! <laughs> Ugh. You threw up. I have a big fear of throwing up, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it, it terrifies me. <laughs> I don't know why. Last time... <sighs> I haven't thrown up in like 11 years. The last time was like 2012. And it, whenever it would ha like I would get so anxious and shaking and crying. Because it's awful. I have such a fear of it. Like it's bad. <laughs> I'm like nope. Goodbye. Nope. I'd rather I'd rather not. What was that? Shocking. I'm scared. I'm scared. That's not the front door? Hey, Sunny. It's Mari. I'm finally back home, but I forgot my keys. Oh, interesting. So I see that the light is coming in. So I wonder if it's actually daytime. And it's only, like, really dark in here because it's dark inside of his head. Could you open the door for me? Open the door. He's your friend. Open the door. What would you like to do? I would like to open the door. He's your friend. Scared. What is that? Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. I'm scared. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, that was horrible! <laughs> Look at that nightmare! <laughs> I was not expecting that. Okay, never mind. Never opening the door again. Thanks. 
Same. I'm never opening that door again. I'm going back to sleep. Goodbye. Bye. Going back to sleep. Nope. Bye. Back to bed. Bed I go. I want to go to sleep. Please. I'm so scared. Welcome to White Space. You have been living here for as long as you can remember. It's so bright. Nice. Not used to it after all that darkness. What's happening? Genuinely. I want to check this... Skip. See if there's anything else in here. Waiting for something to happen? Yeah, I'm waiting for, uh... My heart to calm down a little bit. Because that was terrifying. A white door casts a faint shadow. What would you like to do? Stare to the door. Oh, I can't do anything. Put it up your laptop. Huh? Collect the keys to fill in the blanks. Incorrect keys will be discarded to the right. The grass near the stump on a shrouded old bridge between giant pinwheels near a cast off cartridge underneath a wet pillow within a large frame beneath a trap door. In a lost pyre's flame. I don't. I don't understand. Hangman. Collect the keys. How, how do I collect the keys? I'm so confusion. What? Are you for serious? Am I supposed to know what this means? Try to click them all? I'm trying to click it. It won't let me click it. Press Q to open the hangman menu. Okay. I don't understand what's happening. Something fell. Nope. 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 I said something fell, but where is it? Oh, I have to collect this? Like, I can't just choose? I don't really get it. I'm not gonna lie. Waiting for something to happen? Yeah, I'm trying to find this thing that apparently... Here nearby. Is found a map. What? Okay. Press W to open the headspace map. Oh, so this is his inside his head. Interesting. Can I leave now? Oh, 
Open the door, please. Be back at the beginning? Is it gonna be the same thing again? Yeah, it's the same thing. Ori! Oh, well, thank goodness you're here! Have you seen Basil? Oh, that's not her. <laughs> we can't find him anywhere. What's going on with Basil? What's happening to Basil? We should go tell Mari you're okay. She's been worried sick. Oh, oh, oh okay. Okay. S going out, Amori. S here is your allowance for today. Um, excuse me, but why are there bloody footprints? That's what that is, right? Okay, I, I I got A. I'm very scared. Eleven keys left. Ori. You're okay. Oh. Don't worry me like that. Where's Basil? He's not with you, Amori? No. I'm afraid not. The last thing I remember was sorting photos with Basil in his house. And the next thing I know, I'm waking up in neighbor's room with Aubrey and Kel. At least we found you, Amori. I hope Basil is okay. Who's gonna protect him if we're not there? Ah, oh, don't be such a downer, Aubrey. We'll find Basil for sure. Oh, you're absolutely right, Kel. It's at times like this when we gotta stay positive. Hmm. Why don't we go back to Basil's house? There might be something that we missed. Oh, that's the spirit hero. And as always, I'll be here if you need me. 